Hi everybody, Jared Johnson here and welcome back to the MetaTrader 4 Tips and Tricks video series. Uh, in this section we're going to talk about how to customize your charts and create a template. Uh, it's a pretty simple way of just getting some, some preset quick settings that you can add to charts to make them look uh, the way that you want them to look. Oftentimes MetaTrader will look like this when you download it and get it installed. Uh, I've created a template so I can easily switch it to this by simply going up here to my template button clicking on whatever I have named my template, in this case Day Traders FX, and that will apply everything to this chart and you can see that it now looks like the other chart, the colors, all the details and so on. Uh, that was my template though. If you have a template uh, that you would like to create, uh, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. Um, the, the most manual way of doing it is simply uh, customizing all the details on the chart uh, thing by thing, turning it to uh, candlesticks from line charts, zooming it in a little bit. Uh, the next step that you're going to do is just right click anywhere on the chart and go to chart properties, just properties right there. You can also get there by clicking on F8. Uh, if you click on properties here, I typically, uh, a lot of people like black backgrounds. I like lighter charts because it just feels too sad when it's too dark uh, and I have to look at a dark screen all day. Uh, but this will give you your background details. Uh, you can see this background is black. Uh, I usually make my, my, my background a light gray so it's a little easier on the eyes there. Uh, and then when you do that, you can see that your foreground, all of your numbers are going to be white and that looks kind of crazy. So usually you want to switch your foreground to black. So you can see those numbers again and, and all of those details. And then this is where you will customize uh, how you want your candlesticks to look. Your bar up. Now these are, these are kind of tricky right here and you, you want to make these basically uh, just black or white or whatever because this is the outer area of your, of your candlestick. So with my bar up I just go black. With my bar down I go black. Uh, and then you can make your bull candles, uh, you can make a bull candle, you know, green or whatever color you want. You can make a bear candle uh, red, for example, whatever color you want. Um, and then you can customize some of the rest of these details. Now when I go to this chart, you can see it looks a little bit, um, a little bit more like the other chart or, or it just can give us some different colors and different details. Uh, this is not a moving average that I use. Uh, I do like moving averages, so I can either right click on this moving average and delete the indicator or I can go to properties and I can just change it to something I use. I really like to use the 200 moving average uh, so I can just switch that to 200 moving average. I can make this uh, uh, line any color I want. Uh, let's, say, let's say we make it uh, blue. Uh, and We can adjust the thickness and so on right here. Uh, if I click on that, that now it looks like a moving average that I use. Now if I want to save this and use this template on a bunch of other charts without having to go through that whole process, I just go up here to my template button. Again, this is that square square uh, drawing on here with some squiggly lines on there. If you put your cursor over it, it'll say template. and It's usually right next to your little clock and some of this stuff. Um, go to template and click on save template. And I can call this uh, anything I want. Uh, I can call it my template for example. Um, and, and now when I save that I can go to another chart that doesn't have that and I can this one for example and I can click on the template button and I can go to my template and you can see that now that's got the save template. So we've got a couple of templates in here um, but this is just an easy way, you know, if you have one chart that's got certain indicators on it for long-term trading and another chart that has certain indicators on it for short-term trading or just whatever you want, that's how you can create a template. You can add all the indicators you want, save your template, and then you can apply that to any chart in the future without having to manually step-by-step -step add everything over again. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching and best of luck.